Oakland has speed, personified by American League base stealing king, Campy Campaneris. But the Reds have the human shotgun in the National League's most valuable player, Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench leading off the bottom of the sixth. Can be reversed tonight with first game winner Ken Holzman on the mound. Bench's single sends Tolan the third as the Reds mount a threat in the first inning. But the A's blow a chance for the big inning as Bench hangs tennis up on a missed squeeze play. Vida Blue gets a start after three relief outings, and the game remains scoreless into the fourth inning. Johnny Bench singles, sending Morgan to third. Johnny Bench is the hitter. Johnny Bench. Bench looking for an outside pitch, gets it, and hits an opposite field double. Lee leaves, Daryl Johnson goes to his bullpen. Six home runs in the game. In the fourth, starter Rick Wise against Johnny Bench. Two run homer. Joe Morgan walked, and with two out, Johnny Bench is the hitter. Bench lines one between Evans and Lynn, a two base hit, and it scores Morgan with the second run. Two to nothing, Cincinnati. Next, Joe Morgan breaks for second. Watch Denny Doyle. He's pulled towards the back, and Johnny Bench hits right through the hole vacated by Doyle. Now Johnny Bench steps in. It's been a tough summer, but a hot autumn. But the Reds continue the track meet. Foster takes off. Munson's throw cuts him down. And that's a big out because the catfish is having his problems getting loose. Bench drills one to the wall for another double. And there's nothing the Reds and those Reds fans love more than to see Johnny Bench return to his hitting form. While the Reds talked about the Yankee catcher, the Yankees will be talking about Johnny Bench all winter long. As always, he was all over the field on defense, trying to catch everything in sight. He made a big play in the fourth. Two on, Randolph set the bunt. Misses. Bench fires his second. Nettles is trapped. Rose tags him. Rallies over. While the Yankees defense the Reds running, Bench provided the one element which can't be defense. Pointing to bat, a new theory, Timing the pitcher's motion. And there it goes. You have to hit. You're hitting all the way. After his toughest summer of injury, pain, and frustration, Johnny Bench comes back in flying red colors to bring his team closer towards a red October sweep. The homer gives the Reds a lead, which they hold into the ninth. It's a close 3-2 ball game. Dick Tidrow is on the mound. Once again, it's Johnny Bench. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Boys, I got news for you. We're going to be world champions again, Sugar Bear. I got news for you. We are now going to be world champions again. Huh? No, I mean, 
You know, if our big men don't swing, what do we do? We die. We die. We're not going to die. We don't play that way. Hey. Doggy, doggy, oh, baby, go. Hey, John. Oh, John. Daddy. That's a boy. Hey, you big can't you? Now, boy. The world champs, men. Cincinnati scores one more to make the final score seven to two. And Sparky said it. They're world champions again. Seven straight victories over the Phillies and the Yankees in October. Sparky Anderson said that the Reds did their job on the field, and now it's up to others to consider whether this is one of the greatest teams of all time. They all earned their victory, but no one earned it more than the catcher Johnny Bench. Play with these guys, and they've done the job all year, and then you're able to do something just to, you know, make up for everything you haven't done all year. It's just, it's just you know, a great inspiration.